There we go. Yeah. Oh, wrong button. There we go. Land the chopper. Not the best at flying the choppers. Hey, it's crapping, man. So the chemical weapon in there, right? If it even is a chemical weapon, hell, it could be shaving cream for all I know. By the way, next time you're getting wet. Oh, but there won't be a next time, will there, Davy? There never is. I'll do my best for you. I always try. Yeah, well, maybe this time we'll get lucky. Maybe this time Steve will succumb to the strains of enhanced interrogation techniques. Interrogate him? Are you insane? They're probably decorating him right now. Hey, Davey, your boys at the agency are on to you, remember? Ah, huh? you and Stevie. Just try and keep your heads down. Yeah, putz. Who's this? Oh, fucking A. Yes! What's up, man? My days in the wilderness are over. Lester, he settled up with that crazy Mexican motherfucker. Gave him the artifact. <laughs> now, as long as Trevor handles the wife, we're good. But what about him, man? Yeah, fuck him. He likes the desert. Besides, if we do one big score, we're all gonna have to go our own separate ways anyway. Oh, man. I can't wait to get back to that movie studio. <laughs> Yo, all right, man. Well, shit, I'll holler at you later then, all right? What a shit show. I'll tell you what. You could take this desert and stick it. My life may be a world of pain, but from here on out, it's gonna be cool, comfortable, air-conditioned pain. Take it easy. Who are they gonna leave me as? Trevor. I had a wonderful time, Trevor. But we both... No. I made a vow to my husband. I know! You have a great pain inside you. But you are a beautiful man. I've never been so happy and so sad in my life. You have a beautiful way with words. For, for, some, for some reason, everyone I love abandons me. I am not abandoning you. I am going home. Who just treats you? I know. 
cow just casually walking across the road. I know. Well, I can now go back into the city, so I'll see if there's another property that Trevor can buy. Oh, missed the corner. There we go. No. Stay. You better treat her right, man! I will, amigo! Yeah, otherwise... The other ear! Of course! Uh, the way I see things, you and me and Michael, we're, we're friends now. Uh, good friends! <laughs> Such good friends that we will make a great effort to avoid one another! That's fucking perfect! Uh, thank Michael for this statue! It is exquisite! Yeah! Yeah, I will! Missed two. Missed the accuracy and mission type. Okay, I can handle that. How much does 234.95? So that one I've been to, he can't buy. That one he already owns, he already owns. That one's too expensive, I don't think he can buy it either. 10 million? 20 million? Wow. 30 million? 150 million? They're just getting more and more expensive. 275,000 he can't afford it I think that's for someone else 2 million so that's the only one he can afford at the moment Where is it? That one. That's what I wanted to do. Now it's marked. No. I'm not close enough to the town or city to get the talk radio station just yet. Not too far from it, though. There we go. Anyway, I'm in a spiritual hole. We can help you get out that hole, brother. You in a deep hole. I gotta put my hand down there and pull you up. So I'll get my soul shot. Really? That was barely a tap. Place. 
any ammunition, I don't need to read that. Can't be too much further. I'm half expecting to get there and I can't buy it as Trevor. Well, probably 90% expecting that. It's just around the corner from his next mission. Only Frank can, can purchase this property. Thought so. At least he has a mission just here. It's a funny way to greet your cousin. You ain't my G-damn cousin, Trevor. I thought we was family. Uh, please, just go and ruin somebody else's home furnishings. Who the F is that, Floyd? No one, my sweet. Hey, by any chance, did you catch crabs at that conference? Ah, Floyd! I heard that those conferences are regular little fuck fests, huh? Guy, come in. I'd like you to leave mm. right now. Oh, yeah. Some serious corporate gangbanging going on, right? Yeah, with every executive and director of communications from here to Bangalore taking it left, right, and center in the name of team training, right? I mean, now that's what Floyd told me yesterday as he was staring at my, uh, my penis. I want you to leave now! Look, this is all I've got, all right? I had a tough upbringing. My daddy was not nice to me, okay? Now look, Deborah, I love you, and I love you too, Floyd. Why can't we all just be together, huh? You can have Mondays through Thursdays, you can have the weekends, all right? I know that's not normal, but in this crazy, crazy world, is normal so good, huh? Look, Deborah, Floyd, will you marry me? Get out of my condo! And you go too, Floyd, I told you. Yeah. <laughs> you made me swear. You're crap, Floyd. Crap! <laughs> You're not a man at all. <laughs> Bob's right about you. Oh, who's Bob? I want both of you to go now. You and your weird friends. Whoa! Hey! My name is Trevor, sweetheart. I could give a fuck what your fucking name is! I'm not afraid to use this. I'm not. Oh. Bob taught me. Fuck Bob! You people are not very fucking nice. Okay. Ooh. I don't oh, hey think there, I want to know what he's done. Did you meet Gebra? Mm, interesting lady. Yeah. Ah, I should probably go say hi. I wouldn't. Why not? Let's go get in the car. All right. Let's go have the time of our lives. Yeah. Oh. Oh, I know exactly where to take you. Of course, a strip club. Why doesn't that surprise me with Trevor? I could run in and get Floyd and Gebra. I know she seems kind of uptight, but she can have fun. Mmm, no. I don't think she can, Wade. Just Floyd then? Yeah. Floyd's gonna meet us there. Floyd's trip? Exactly. Oh, Trevor, maybe you got all over. Oh! Good 
I don't think either will be thinking anything anymore. Yeah. We've all been there. We sure have, but they don't taste like syrup. Don't taste it. All right. Why would you taste it? Okay. Hey, you remember when we met? Sure. Last year, I was on the way to the gathering with Daisy Bell and Kush Tronic and. And you stopped in Sandy Shores to get lit, and you met a dealer, and he looked after you when your friends had abandoned you. That was weird, weren't it? The last time I saw him, it was with you driving out to a quarry, and then they just disappeared. Ah. Uh. Right? I mean, they were gone. You hit me! I mean, they were gone. Some friends, right? And now, Cousin Deborah don't want you around. I mean, there's a pattern here. The Congo did get messy. The pattern is you can't rely on anyone, anyone except me. So yeah, I don't think you'll be hearing from oh, Floyd yeah. or Deborah anymore. I don't like him. He's a real homebody. He loves that apartment. Interestingly, you and me, we got a new home. Where? <laughs> here. Right here. Here? Yeah, now I know it's unconventional, but that's the way we roll, homie. Hey, you two, you two, I want you to give this boy a good time for a long time. Hey, gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. Tell me where the manager is for this fine establishment. Through there and take two doors to the right. Mm -hmm. Through there. To the right. Thank you. Okay. Prepare to meet your new partner. What are you gonna do, Trevor? Um, okay. Hey, Lester. Hey, uh, Trevor just called about the, um, the big one, the, the UD. You know anything? Yeah, I told yep. him we could hit it. You down? Of course I'm down. Look, I'll get my research together and meet you at Trevor's. He's taken over the Vanilla Unicorn Gentlemen's Club. All right, message Franklin. What a turn. Okay. Okay. All there was for me to do there was drive to the new place is the worst drama there can be. it still says Frank uh, Trevor's got heaps to do but I'll do this one Michael's got a question mark up this way so let's go do that Project, I'll be in touch, okay? Okay, don't forget about me. There we go. It's safe. You can come out now. Oh, thank God. I don't even want to think about what they have done to me. I got no money, no phone, nothing. C could you give me a ride? Well, you don't mess around, do you? Big if your thoughts. Clear your brain. Yeah, what do you mean? Course. Come on. Uh. If you can drop me on Inaseno Road in Chumash, I'll get a friend to pick me up there. And where's that? Is it this way? They popped one of my tires. Thank you 
so much for stepping in. I, I know what those guys are like. They'd have killed me for sure. Anytime. My daughter's not much younger than you. So you knew those creeps. You know, for as long as I can remember, the loss was my life. I was committed. And until you've been with a bad, hairy, middle-aged guy who hasn't changed his leathers in a week. <laughs> you don't know the meaning of commitment. You know what I mean? And then all the partying just started to take its toll. Feeling down all the time. Missing my family. Look out! My family. Anyway, I decided to get out, clean myself up, get into treatment, and a couple shrink sessions in. Guess what? Turns out getting passed around like a piece of meat by older men doesn't give me self-esteem after all. <gasps> this can't be more of that. Uh, it is. Really? Do something, please. Don't kill us both. What? Before any more of those animals show up, I, I think I'm still in shock. Now you said uncles. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, they were my uncles. So what? Your uncles passed you around like a piece of meat? No, asshole. They raised me. Look, I took some money. Okay. What does it matter? Stop asking me all these questions. Okay. This is it. Thank you said. Look, I think we should just put all this behind us, don't you? They pass you around. Hey, now you're saying they raised you. What? With a pop tire, this is still pretty okay to handle, which is odd. Where are we heading? Okay, so speak for yourself. I'm speaking for the show, Dick Tard. Chattersphere, hosted by me, the show makes with sidekick support work from Of course. Going so far out in the country that the radio station changes. Michael doesn't even like it out here, so why is he going got a question mark out here? How much money does Michael have? Five hundred and ninety seven thousand. This is the one that was six hundred thousand. Yep. Three thousand short of being able to buy that Run. one. There we go. Got a pop tire and I can still drive straight. That's not right. Can't be much further. Okay, it's down at the sub. You got lucky, buddy.
What does Michael have to do down here? Am I seeing this person? Can you help me? Yep. Hello. Hello. Thank God you stopped. Uh, were you a fan of Frank Mathers? Frank Mathers? The TV guy who used to do the shows about space until he became obsessed with undersea exploration? No. Not a huge fan. Frank was my husband. By not a huge fan, I mean not a huge fan as much as a fanatic. He was a cruel and heartless man. Well, like I said, I was not a huge fan. But I loved him. Didn't he leave his sick wife and five kids to run off with you? We loved each other. I'm sure he did. And I'm penniless now, not more or, or less. Well, Frank's submarine broke apart while he was trying to save the San Andreas White Shark. But his body was never found. You know, people thought someone tampered with the airlocks. That's an outright lie. That was never proven. I love Frank, and Frank loved me, which is why we invested so much money in life insurance. If we could just prove that Frank was dead and that the airlocks weren't tampered with, I would sleep so much easier. I bet you would. I'll make it very worth your while. Guess I could take a look. Mm -hmm. Okay. up this area. Okay. At least it's not the sub. That's terrible to control. Hopefully I don't need to dive for it. I'm thinking I probably will need to. While inside the grain market areas, your sonar will be the rain in range and you can use it to help locate the missing sub. 